10 very strange things an Irish person knows Americans do. Hey, let's just jump straight into this and check out what you Americans are doing. So today I thought it would be fun if we look at 10 very strange things American people do. Uh, now before on this channel, I made a list 10 weird things American people do. And that's basically a part one to this. Because let me tell you guys, you do some odd things. It means do they? Too. Occasionally in comments, I get some very, I wouldn't call them trolls. If you don't like America, go and kill yourself Yo. as much as idiots who think that i'm doing these lists because i hate america that's not the case at all i think they might be missing something here like a screw i find cultural differences fascinating and i really enjoy hey look what is she trying to say she's trying to say every country is strange in some sort of way and you're strange to other countries right you know what I mean? That's what she's trying to say right here. Another equivalent Western country with my own, which you'd find on a superficial level kind of similar. I just find that fun. And that's how these lists are intended in a fun, lighthearted way. So the first very strange right, thing cool. American people do is go to bars by themselves. One of my favorite shows to watch online is the Steve Harvey show. That's actually really cool. That is really cool. I see that a lot in like TV shows and movies that pe like Americans would just go. I know it's a movie and stuff, but Americans would just go to a bar and have a drink and just whatever, right? In the UK, I've heard of people going to the pubs by themselves, but not really bars. I've never really been by myself, but like, let's say I'm having a stressful day. It would be nice just to know that there's a bar around the corner. I can just go and have a drink and i suppose from all these videos i've watched you americans are very more like outgoing more confident and will talk to each other whereas people in the uk they're more like just keep themselves to themselves so if i go to a bar probably no one's gonna talk to me by myself you know what i mean no one's gonna come up and say hello vice versa whereas in america you probably go to the bar and you might start chatting to the next person next to you so it's actually pretty cool oh, i kind of like it no. He frequently does these Q&As and one woman was asking how she could go about meeting guys and he suggested she go to a bar and sit at it by herself. Oh that wow. That's just not something that we do in Ireland so much unless you belong to a particular demographic. By and large, <laughs> it's old men who sit at bars by themselves and they're by themselves old but they ultimately get to know everybody else in the bar. I'm not saying it never ever happens anywhere else but right. what I'm saying is it's not a norm. In yeah, America, it's not. people strike up conversations with people alone very, very quickly and easily, whereas it's not the case so much here. Yeah, you have yeah, same. amazing banter if you get talking to Irish people, but you really have to win them over first. Irish people will side-eye you until we get the gist of who you are and what you're about. Pretty See, I don't like that about the UK in general, man. I like, from watching these videos, I don't like how we just keep ourselves to ourselves, you know what I mean? I don't like that. And so many people are stuck up and stuff. It'd be better if we was all open, just all freely, and like you'll go into a, like, for example, yeah, we go to a bar by ourselves, and then you start talking to the next person. Clearly, a young woman alone going and sitting at a bar—it's just not typical. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying it's not something that happens a lot or all the time. You're generally waiting for somebody else. For example, it just would never occur to me to go and sit at a bar by myself. The next strange thing you guys do is serve coffee in like a gajillion different ways and you've infected our society with that too. Wait, As a coffee lover, it's that's something good. I'm actually on board with, but it's definitely made ordering things a bit more confusing. Really? In America, the sizes and styles of coffee they have are basically iconic. You've got cold coffee, you've got warm coffee, you've got sweet coffee, you've got savory coffee, you've got different sizes of coffee, you've got coffee with your names on it. And here's the kicker. When you order... Wait, coffee with your name? <laughs> this is... See, I'm drinking coffee right now, right? I would love more variety just so you got more choice. You could just choose. Coffee in most places in America, they keep coming and topping up your coffee. That would cost oh. a small fortune in Europe. It's just not That'd a thing be that so they good. Don't you up. It's just not a thing. One thing I particularly got on board with when I went to Texas was that you can put creams in your coffee that oh. are different flavors, different Ooh. creamy flavors and that made it really fun to have coffee in the morning the next thing that Ooh. i find is quite strange that people do in america is when they're at a restaurant or even a bar they'll clear the table i covered this one before in an american manners video in ireland it's extremely rude to get up and take your plate away or have a waiter or a waitress take your plate away before everybody's finished eating in america right. this is just looked at as really courteous in the early 2000s oh wait is she saying like what so if my family's eating in america the waiter's gonna come and just take my plate even though my family's eating 
I suppose you did. I suppose it's something you get used to. In Ireland, guidelines were brought into pubs and bars that people had to clear away drinking glasses at the table. This was a health and safety thing to avoid potential right. casualties if Makes you're in a fight or something. And also just to keep on top of having the glasses and stuff clean. But there was a huge kickback in Ireland from people like my parents' generation because they felt it was kind of cosy to have all the glasses sitting at the table. It was also deemed a little intrusive when the bar staff kept coming over to your table and interrupting the conversation. But it's kind of something we're more on board with now, like 20 years later. I gotta say, yeah, though, don't rub me up kind of the wrong way when I'm sitting at a table with somebody and as a slow eater, I never finish first. And suddenly Same, their plate I feel gets taken away while I'm still eating. It makes me feel like the restaurant want me to hurry up. And <laughs> the next thing you guys do that's kind of strange, but I wish we did more of here, is drive automatic cars. Oh, yeah, you so know what? You know what? My car broke down a few years ago and it's manual. And they gave me an automatic car to drive in the meantime and i'm telling you right now i didn't realize this was so big in america i'm telling you right now we need to make them the norm in the uk because my next car is most likely going to be automatic because you just like i feel more free I, I got in it and i felt like i didn't have to use my left side of the body like i was just so like relaxed oh it was nice it was nice stick shift as you call it in the states and this is one of the huge reasons I don't drive yet. As well as the fact that I live in the city and there's just a bus right outside my door to everywhere. I, I hate buses. thinking about learning to drive and putting it on the channel. Let me know below in comments if that's something you want to see. But what I really want to do at this stage is just learn to drive on an automatic car. Because that takes away the whole stress of having to move all the time right. around and work your foot pedal and stuff. But apparently that's really difficult. Because supposedly it's hard to find a driving school that will teach you on an automatic car that they actually have i'd have to bring I my think, own automatic car i think they're more common now because i'm noticing a lot of people in the uk don't even know how to drive manual and they've been driving which is super annoying for a if while the technology exists that makes it easier to drive why don't we just use that technology why are we still driving around stick shifts when we're not got a point car drivers the next one that I find kind of adorable is how Americans formal talk all the time. You go around addressing people as sir and ma'am. Oh, wait, really? That here, people would just find it a bit unusual. In our yeah. Case, we definitely call our teachers sir and miss or what do we call lady teachers? Oh, no, I think we call lady teachers miss. Either. Yeah, in the UK, you would only hear in school. You would never hear it outside of school, ever. Even if they are married. The first time somebody called me ma'am in America, I was like, what? It made me feel like I was in the olden times. It was kind of adorable. Another thing that you guys do that's really formal, I noticed in the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York, was every time you see a service person, you go, thank you for your service, which is, I'm sure, that's very cool. appreciated. It's just not something we do here when we see our army people so much. I yeah. Know, I thought it was cute. The next thing... No, that's really cool. You never see it in the UK. Uh, I've never experienced... I know people that's in the army, and I've never experienced anybody saying thank you for your service ever or known of it in the uk but in america i've seen it in like videos and stuff like that so yeah that's in cool america, you have to be 21 to drink and this has affected your drinking culture a lot i find it really odd that you guys can get married and stuff but you can't have a drink at your own wedding like what is that <laughs> americans are also mad for their drinking games which i think stems from the fact that you don't get to drink till you're 20 right in ireland we love an old drinking game but the person yeah i can't lie you guys get to drink late, which sucks. I, I'm guessing a lot of you drink before 21. But you guys get to drink late, which sucks. But you guys go crazy on drinking games. And I really, I love drinking games, but they're just not done that much, right? I would love for us to adopt that culture. Who suggests it is generally looked at as, oh, that's a pretty lame thing to say. And then cut to 20 minutes later, you're all having great crack playing the drinking game. Also, you guys ID everybody about alcohol, which is so strange. Like you could be with a 50 year old and they'll get ID'd. Like they're <laughs> obviously not That's under weird. 21. What's that about? In Ireland, you can expect to be ID'd if you go somewhere that's say over 25s or over 21s or something like that, but not older, older people. Like it's perfectly obvious. That yeah, someone 50 isn't, unless they look really your name getting ID'd. They can be there. So I don't even get ID'd I now. I that, ID'ing people who are clearly not under 21. The next thing Americans do, and I'm going to say this one with some trepidation, is bring politics into everything. What? Wait, wait, wait Americans do? Trepidation is bring politics into oh. everything. As most of you guys know... I'm not good with politics, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not good with politics. Like, if you guys are talking politics to me, I'll have no clue. 
I would have zero clue. Uh, yeah. I don't discuss politics on this channel, but I can put up the most random, fun, silly video on here, and somebody will bring a political party into the conversation <laughs> in comments, and I'm just like... <laughs> Politics are a hot discussion in every country in the world, particularly in Ireland right now, but I don't bring them into every conversation. As an outsider looking in, there definitely seems to be a weird culture that what you stand for politically defines who you are as a person, and I don't think that's so much the case here. I don't know, I just find people complex and multifaceted, and what you think about one type of thing isn't how you feel about every single thing, but let me know below in comments what your take on that is. The next See, that was already too political for me. <laughs> That was this thing is how much you guys love to combine really odd food combinations. Bro, I this is straight. This is amazing. What do you mean? Yo, listen, I've seen so many, 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 many food videos from you guys, right? And you guys are adding crazy combinations, but they look amazing. They look so good. Do you know what a crazy food combination is in the UK? Chicken nuggets and chips. I can only applaud Americans That's how crazy it's when it comes to food because, oh my god, you surprise me all the time with the ideas that you have for it. My very first encounter with this was when I tried Five Guys for the first time and I realised there was bacon in my milkshake. Oh, uh. That's such a weird thing! Is it? And I've seen it come up again and again and again. Like, when I try fast food in America, people are like, that's cool, Diane, but you didn't put your fries in your ice cream. Ah, uh, that's mad. Yo, that's mad. That's mad. I've, I'm already getting over the concept that people put fries in milkshakes, right? Never tried it. Could be nice. But bacon? Uh, you guys got to let me know if you tried that in, in America. You guys got to let me know. Maybe it's really nice. I don't know, bro. That sounds crazy. Excuse me, what? I'd actually really like to do a video in the future where I do try some of your weirdest food combinations. That would be good. I want to do that. The next thing is in American pharmacies, some of them still sell beer and cigarettes. As I understand it, a lot of pharmacies have made it a policy not to do this anymore. What in a fuck? What originally happened there is just crazy. Hey, do you guys want to get some tablets so you're more like healthy and feeling better? Hey, have a pack of cigarettes or maybe a can of beer to go with it. <laughs> to me, going to a pharmacy is somewhere that Sorry. shoves health ideals down my throat. So when I see beer and cigarettes there, my mind gets all confused because that's a juxtapositional message. I'm really glad that most places are not doing that anymore. So kudos. And the number one strange thing that Americans do that just makes me go, what? 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 Well, to be fair, if they're not selling it in the pharmacy, they're just going to get it elsewhere anyway. So the pharmacy may as well make the money. Because if, you, if you're someone that buys, maybe less the beer. Maybe the beer is maybe encouraging a little bit to buy it because you're not like addicted to it. Well, you actually, no, no, no. You can be. You can be. You can have a drinking problem and then buy it. But cigarettes... They're just, bro, if somebody wants a cigarette, they're just going to buy it as well. Americans who say, Oh, I don't have an accent. No, you do. You do have an accent. I think they're referring to a generic American accent. Wait, no, no, no. Bro, Americans. I know there's a lot of Americans that watch this, right? You, there, I, there's no way you guys don't think you have an accent, right? Because you guys have a big accent and it differs so much. Still very much definitely still an accent. Everybody in the whole world has an accent. When somebody says this to me though, I literally don't even know how to respond because I'm just like, you do have an accent. I can hear it in my brain head. I suppose when people say no accent, they mean no accent depending on the area that they're from, right? So for example, if I say I don't really have much of an accent, I mean like I don't really have a much of an accent that is different to the normal UK typical accent, right? But so maybe Americans that are saying they don't have an accent, maybe they're saying they don't have an accent to the normal American standard accent, right? Uh, so like Ireland, she probably has a normal Irish, you know what I'm saying? Here's the you know thing, saying. accents are cool. To somebody somewhere in the world, your accent is savage. You don't know what that means. Savage is a good thing in Ireland. I always try to check myself. I, 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 I like accents, man. Embrace the fact that you have an accent. I like accents. Cool somebody else. So Unless it's... <laughs> I really hope nobody from Liverpool is watching this video. But if you're from Liverpool in the UK and you have the Scots accent, I'm so sorry. That's probably the worst accent on the planet. Um, I, bro, <laughs> I wouldn't mind having an accent that isn't a Scouts accent <laughs> or a farmer's accent. So they're two like UK accents, right? 
and it, one would be like bristolian and one would be scouts scouts is the worst for me and then the other i i, I just wouldn't be able to take my, myself serious if i was like oh, uh i'm a farmer i'm a farmer i'm gonna mow the law you know what i mean like proper farmer accent so those are like that. 10 more but. strange behaviors that american people do feel free to engage with one another in the comments in a respectful way today's video goes out thanks. cool video though cool video hopefully you guys enjoy let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you guys did enjoy me today perform such subscribe for more content i'm live every single day on twitch.tv for slash alfred of jeep you guys want to check me out over there i'll see you all in the next video peace